guys, today we're going to be watching Los Angeles Police Chase, May 18, 2015. And also, check out the police chase video. Two police chase videos we uploaded today, earlier today. Earlier today, earlier, earlier on. So, let's listen now. Got to keep it an ear on the uh, PD, but he's coming into traffic here, starting coming to a stop. Just as you approach uh, San Pedro, Los Angeles Street, always a real sticky uh, street here, sticky area of the mm -hmm. dead freeway. And this is a freeway is at a dead stop after you make the turn at Alameda. So uh, it's going to have to weave its way through here. As you can see, it's kind of making its way around and uh, through the uh, traffic, trying to push its way through the three uh, CHP units behind it. So this thing may end up uh, really quickly in a, uh, a foot pursuit if these guys bail out of this car. But uh, they're really going to be jammed up as far as, oh, you turn, you turn back eastbound in the westbound lanes of the 60 freeway taking the off ramp here opposite way opposite traffic opposite oh man i was close he weaves his way around through that uh that car and uh, roger that anyway so as we come around here uh, you can see him just coming down they're trying to do the pit maneuver there as you can see as they come in and then making the turn back towards the 10 freeway through the the uh, commercial area here just uh, north of the 10 freeway and uh, pushing its way through there you see the chp on him pretty hard because uh, this guy went the wrong way on the freeway. Very, very dangerous working its way through. Not CHP officer working his way up on him. Coming up on the next intersection here, there's the right-hand turn. This will take him back out west just on the uh, south side of the 10 freeway. So this is unbelievable pursuit. This guy zips around going back underneath the 10 freeway, working his way along. Uh, working his way along, popping out here, and then the CHP is still right on him. Now we have the uh, cross traffic problems with uh, uh, surface streets that we deal. It's got a big intersection coming up, which is Alameda. Is this next intersection behind that building? We'll see him pop out the other side. I'm going to move Sky 5 over, and he should come pop it out here any sec. Big rig going through the intersection. Now let's see what happens when he comes out that side. And they have it up. There he is pushing around. The unit going southbound now, southbound Alameda. Uh, away from uh, back towards the 10 now and units are really working their way out trying to keep an eye on this thing and so it's uh, really a, a very dangerous pursuit wrong side of the street now through the uh, area here he's coming up oh right through the intersection just squeezes through the off-ramp for the 10 freeway yeah that was very close coming up to washington boulevard as he moves along uh, southbound alameda here and so it's going to be a wild pursuit Hey, Micah, sure. Let me send it back to you just for a second while I deal with some air traffic control. Shut me off. I need... God, look at that. He just almost hit that pedestrian. Yeah, he almost hit that pedestrian. Yeah, he almost hit that pedestrian. And he's weaving in and out of traffic as well. Oh my God, he's trying to turn right and he's going on the wrong side of the road. And this chase has been going for about for 10 to 15 minutes or so. Turning right, passing to the car, passing the car, slower car, going on the wrong side of the road into the surface streets. And let's listen now.
This is a no. Eleven, I got you. Stay behind you. You know, I never got really close enough to, to count the people in there. Right now, we're right on the approach for LAX, uh, dealing with uh, that and also with the two media police helicopters. So we're having to keep a kind of a wide berth here. That's why the shot's so long. I have not seen how many people are in the car yet. It's, uh, it's, it's I'm sure, but you see he's still blowing his way southbound here. We're just to the east of Alameda, uh, coming into the south LA area, uh, probably just to the... Uh, east of Central and coming up on Florence right there. It should be Florence coming up that he's coming up. Coming up. Um, I got you. Uh, five's got you. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah, it, uh, it's still LAPD on the air right now. Uh, still uh, LAPD on, in the air right now and uh, trying to keep track of him. And we're just going to hold out here to the east, kind of give a long shot because it's really way too confining to be in there with the LAPD area. There he's trying to pit right there, just kind of bumped him as he made that turn. So uh, it's uh, really, they, these guys are really trying to get away, coming through those intersections right there. Uh, that was Florence he went through, so we're continuing southbound here. And it looks like yeah, Central, he's on Central right now, just went through Florence. So it's... Uh, very high speed pursuit. LAPD doing everything they can, everything they can do to, to get into a, a position with it, but it's really a wild pursuit for them with uh, the LAPD uh, air unit overhead. The sheriff's uh, helicopter is still over the top. He's now going to be relieved by uh, another LAPD helicopter. So can, it, continuing now just southbound on Central, coming up to, I believe this is going to be Flor uh, it's past Florence, so maybe Slauson is the next. The next one now he's coming to is he turning now out to the west. I believe that's going to be Slauson if I'm looking right with my uh, my area here. I'm kind of checking out to the west, but yeah. So you can see he's just really kind of cooking along, really kind of cooking along, and uh, just really high rate of speed. He's riding up on him now, so maybe if if he if he could keep uh, if he can get a little bit slower on him, maybe he'll get that uh, that pit maneuver going. But uh, it's really been a wild procedure. Eleven sliding up your left side. Yeah, that does. Yeah, I can tell now. I'm looking at that. It is a charger behind him. So normally they don't mix assets like that. So uh, you know, because they they don't want to get uh, the thing going on where they get uh, different frequencies and things of that sort. So it's a. Uh, and now they're approaching Avalon sale here, and uh, looks like that might be an LAPD unit in the lead now. And then there's the. Uh, uh, the uh, SUV you see back there, I can't tell if that's from this distance. I'm sorry, I can't get a better shot than this. Might be, uh, no, it's still CHP. So two LAPD units and a CHP unit uh, in pursuit of it now. And normally, like I said, they don't mix assets like that, but they are really uh, not keep, keep cooking along here, along uh, uh, Slauson. You went through Avalon and then now just continuing down. So it's uh, really... One heck of a pursuit here as they push along. So uh, huh? we just have to stick with as best we can. And as we continue east west here along Slauson, it's really going to get tough for us because we get into the area where we have to be below 500 feet. And that's going to be almost impossible for us to work uh, with the uh, police units as... Uh, anyway, just really tough for, uh, really tough for the... Uh, uh, units on the ground to keep with him and then us up here in the air. So we're giving the police all the room we could give them and uh, keeping an eye on it here. Park right behind you. Gotcha.
Yeah, it's hard to say when he made that turn that he missed that one and then that white SUV pulled right up on him. But here he's continuing west uh, out away from the 110 freeway, getting out towards uh, uh, Vermont area. But right now, that's it's just a really, here's Vermont coming up and then a left turn for southbound. So we're just holding here just to the uh, east of the Harbor Freeway, looking across because we're not allowed to cross the uh, Harbor Freeway because of ice coming back at us. And we're not allowed to cross that due to traffic. So it's really uh, dicey for we us to keep it uh, keep the shot in here. So we're just kind of keeping an eye on him and let him run around over there. The uh, two police ships overhead are dealing with the inbound traffic. Is yeah, anyway, so continuing on here, coming back towards us here. It looks like he might have made a turn. That's I believe that's going to be uh, Figueroa, that little street there. Maybe let's see what he turns here. Another westbound turn back out to the west. So he's kind of circling the blocks there. So maybe he's come to found his uh, way home, and he's going to try to figure out a way to uh, get away from it. But I can tell you right now, he's not going to get away from those two police helicopters overhead, as well as uh, the uh, ground units that are right behind him. So coming up to coming up to the uh, other intersection back northbound. Now that looks like Vermont again, back north on Vermont. And as he continues now north on Vermont, he's continuing uh, northbound here, just kind of keeping an eye on him as we uh, go along here from, from afar. And uh, so it, this is a, it's not going to end well if he keeps driving. Now coming back towards us here on a surf little residential street. And I'll get lined up with it. Okay, throwing gang signs out the windows for one by a camera operator, uh, uh, Chris Haug is uh, saying here. So yes, now he must be in his own neighborhood. Anyway, so we're just gonna hang out right here and just see him come right towards us. Now there's another turn northbound, and Uh, really upset in the residence. There's, we were on 65, now we're on 67th Street, back westbound, uh, between whoa, between Florence, or between uh, Vermont and uh, Figueroa. So he just kind of circling this block here, and just go circling around. So he's going to start upsetting the neighborhood here if he's you know, not from the area here. If people get in, involved into this, start throwing things in the car. Guy parked his car in the street here, just bailed out of his car. Uh, he's just shoving his way through, hits the car. Yeah, the guy bailed out of his car because he saw this coming at him. So uh, here he goes. He just kind of pushed that car out of the way, and now he's working his way back uh, northbound here. Like I said, staying in the uh, the 60s, the 60th Street, 60, 60, 60th, now up towards 65th again, and just all right in the middle of uh, uh, Figueroa to Vermont. Kind of just see, see another turn there, just kind of square. Just all squaring it off here. It's uh, just round and round and round to go. So... Here he comes, and he kind of just uh, slowing up here just a little bit, and uh, let's see what he does now when he comes down this next intersection, probably going to be turned. There's a guy uh, on a cell phone at CHP, just went by him right there. They're going by the opposite direction, and now he's swinging back around, coming down towards the 110 freeway. And so, oh, he did foot bail. Here we go, foot pursuit, dropped some stuff there, two people running uh, eastbound in the uh, on residential street this is in the 60s he's going to go over a fence and into the neighborhood here he's got air units all over him and ground units all over him so it's going to be a real real uh tight uh, perimeter on this guy really quick so the chances of him getting away are pretty slim i'll try to slide a little closer with sky five get a better look at it because we were a little bit off but uh, okay he's, he's back by the yeah 
Yeah, unfortunately, I'm looking directly into the sun, so I can't see it out the window. I'm trying to watch it on the monitor. And he's there. He's running, running across, uh, still going uh, so anyway, uh, southbound through the neighborhood. He's cutting across the uh, residential street Please and working his way into that residence there. So I can't go any further towards it. So due, uh, due to the uh, restriction, but you can see the police are just flooding into the area now. Going to start uh, look into this. So. Now CHP is here as well. Their uh, air unit, I can hear them directing the ground units in to get this guy sealed off. You see how they're setting up that perimeter right now all around that block. So they're going to seal it off so he can't get, get through there. So uh, it's a very, uh, very quick foot pursuit. Now it's quickly locked down. But now you're going to have to figure out how to pick him out of the, out of the group. And I'm listening to my other uh, colleagues in the news helicopters are keeping an eye on the uh, suspects for him. And uh, again, directing the units in to help out and call it, you know, tell them where the guy is hiding and then uh, they got one guy in custody right now uh, as, as we know and you can see the area is completely shut down uh, with the officers so a lot of officers in the area it's normally what they do is they they track around and keep an eye on it and just stay in the area so one thing does go foot bail they're able to uh, get right on it as quickly as possible so it's uh a very well coordinated effort uh, with the air unit and the ground units to get in the position to block this guy's uh, ability to get away. So, really, really a fast pursuit coming to an end here. Nobody, uh, no big crash at the end, which was very thankful for that because it had all the earmarks of a very, very bad ending with the uh, with the uh, suspects uh, crashing. But you see right there is one in custody in front of that unit. Uh, there was we. I saw two bailout. Micah, did you see more? No, he's not. The other two aren't going to get away. I mean, the place was flooded with police already. As soon as he went to foot, the area unit started setting a perimeter around him. He was able to get off the one street that he ran from through the houses and pop across the second street. But that third street was already covered by uh, by officers, so he wasn't able to get any further south. So they got him pinned in between, uh, I want to say, uh, Vermont and, and Figueroa. It's somewhere in the 60s here. We're trying to get the exact street that they're on. We're just listening up to multiple radios here, trying to get as much as we can from them. But, yeah, he's uh, the one in custody. The other two, they're not going to be too far behind this guy because the LAPD had this area completely locked down. Air unit was on him, and also the uh, uh, other AD helicopters here helping out as well with uh, directing the uh, LA, LAPD air unit to where the suspect was, uh, second suspect was last seen. Because they normally try to stay with the driver when they bail out, so that's the person you want to go after, and then uh, hopefully try to pick off the other passengers. But uh, luckily, the helping out with the media ships overhead, we're able to uh, direct them into one other person. Now we're trying to find that person where he was picked off at. But uh, I can tell you, as fast as they have this perimeter up, uh, it's not long before they end up end up back uh, back into uh, custody. You got the two that went uh, east, right? Okay, yeah, the other one was just casually walking uh, east, uh, east, east, westbound back towards the yeah. Vermont. Yeah. I'll like, figure it out for you. Okay. Yeah. So,
working on it. You will not lose your boyfriend anytime. Hey, uh, hey, Nydia. Any, any chance you can re-rack uh, whatever you see and give us a description of the person that walked away westbound, the one that you said casually walked uh, west? The other two were all black. They're in custody. They need a description of the guy that went uh, west. Yeah. Yeah. That guy right there is the one you uh, think you saw. Okay, opposite the track. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess some long shorts on. But over the 